Hello, friends, subscribers, and people of the World Wide Web. Christopher Beaker here with ChristopherBeaker.com. I'm excited to share my video on what is pornography addiction or what is pornography use disorder. Please visit ChristopherBeaker.com and sign up for my newsletter there. I served as a licensed chemical dependency counselor in the state of Ohio, and for many years now, I have provided individual and group therapy for individuals diagnosed with substance use disorder. I also have published a book on recovery uh, about pornography, recovery from pornography use disorder, problematic pornography use. And in my book, I talk about the symptoms of problematic pornography use. So that is what I am going to share in this video. What is pornography addiction? Pornography addiction is a conduct, behavioral, or process addiction where the using individual has urges or impulses to use pornography. So addiction is a brain disease that affects uh, the person physiologically, psychologically, and sociologically. Socially. Even though pornography use is not currently in the most recent edition of the DSM-5, uh, problematic pornography use is a dysfunction that is experienced by the general population. Addiction is addiction, and these 11 symptoms are the symptoms that I am hypothesizing will appear in an upcoming edition of psychiatric manuals. One is inability to reduce or stop use, causes harm to relationships, failure to meet work, school, or home responsibilities, withdrawal symptoms, tolerance to pornography use, a significant amount of time is spent using pornography. It leads to or exacerbates underlying psychological or physiological problems. Impulsions to use. Justifications and rationalizations of the use. Uh, the individual uses pornography in a dangerous way or dangerously. They continue to use despite experiencing negative consequences. So inability to reduce or stop use. This is unmanageability or a loss of control. So the individual has tried to stop or significantly reduce use and has been unable to do that. Thus their use and life can be unmanageable. Number two is the pornography use causes harm to relationships. Classic example with this one is the wife that talks to her husband about his pornography use and how it is harmful to their relationship. That's the main one. It can also have negative impacts um, for other loved ones as well. Causes harm to relationships. The next one is failure to meet work, school, or home responsibilities. So this would be being late for school or work or missing assignments or missing responsibilities or if a parent is responsible for watching their children yet escapes to watch pornography, this would be a failure to meet work, school, or home responsibilities. 
The next point of criteria for problematic pornography use is withdrawal symptoms. So withdrawal symptoms are things that come about when use is discontinued after habitual use has set in. So these withdrawal symptoms can be relieved by adding more of the drug or in this case, viewing more pornography. So the withdrawal symptoms manifest themselves when uh, pornography use is discontinued after that habit has been instilled in the mind and in the brain. So withdrawal symptoms is another point of criteria. The next one is tolerance to pornography use. And this would mean that the individual needs to use more porn or needs to use more frequently or needs to use more extreme and taboo forms of pornography just to get the desired effect that that individual wants to get. To get off on the pornography, there has to be more of it or it has to be more extreme. This is an example of tolerance to pornography use. A significant amount of time is spent on using pornography. So this is when the individual does not engage in their hobby anymore, or their room or house home is messy because they do not have enough time to clean because they are using pornography. This would be a significant amount of time is spent on using pornography. Leads to or exacerbates underlying psychological or physiological problems. This is when a person has a mental health condition and then forms a psychological dependency on pornography and their mental health condition, say depression or anxiety, is made worse by the pornography dependency. This is leads to or exacerbates underlying psychological or physiological problems. And with pornography use, it can also relate to um, erection dysfunction disorders in men and other sexual concerns for women who are dependent on Next thing is compulsions to use. So, for example, say an individual goes to work Monday through Friday and then gets off of work and then comes home and uses pornography and it's just that person's habit. So when it comes to time to use the pornography, the individual isn't even really thinking about their habit because it's occurring on a subconscious level that program has been instilled into the subconscious mind and that is touching upon compulsivity and compulsions to use the next point of criteria for pornography use disorder or pornography addiction is justifications and rationalization of the individual's use so this is irrational thinking uh, and cognitive distortion. So here are some of the thought patterns that a porn user would have uh, experience to justify and continue their use. I work really hard, so I deserve the right to watch porn. My uncontrollable porn habit is okay because I pay my bills on time. My ex-partner screwed me over so I can watch porn all day. These are justifications and rationalizations of the individual's use. The next one is used pornography dangerously. So this would be viewing pornography while operating a motor vehicle, while engaging in audio, auto erotic asphyxiation, or using porn to the point where the genitals are sore of the individual or anything like this, excessive, dangerous um, use of pornography. And then the last point of criteria, which is the hallmark of all addictions, 
is the individual continued to use pornography despite experiencing the negative consequences. So the individual may or may not be aware of the negative consequences, yet the negative consequences are present and the individual continues to use. And usually those negative consequences, they're quite obvious. So those obvious consequences are present and the individual continues to use. This is the hallmark of all, uh, all addictions. So continued use despite experiencing the negative consequences. These are the symptoms that are associated with pornography addiction or pornography use disorder. If the individual has two or three of these criteria, the individual has a mild form of compulsive pornography use, porn use disorder, whatever. Four to five points is a moderate dependency, and six or more of the criteria is considered as a severe form of porn use disorder or problematic porn use. I hope this video has been helpful. I talk about what is pornography addiction. Please comment in the section below, in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. Visit ChristopherBeaker.com. My website contains knowledge about conscious creation, meditation, and addiction, and addiction prevention. Uh, I hope this video has been of value to you. Uh, stay in your heart center, and thank you so much for your support. Namaste, my friend.